Here's a GRE algebra question. Let's take a look. The sequence S is defined by S sub N is equal to 2 times S sub N minus 1. If S sub 5 minus S sub 1 is equal to 40, what is the value of S sub 2? Whoa, we got a spicy one on our hands here, right? And especially if you're not super familiar with sequences, this can look like almost a different language. But I assure you that the concept is actually pretty simple. Let's look at this statement right here. This describes a sequence or a pattern. And what it's saying is that to find the next number in the sequence, what you have to do is multiply the previous number by 2. S sub n minus 1, you can always just kind of immediately translate to the previous number times 2, right? So we're told if S sub 5 minus S sub 1 is equal to 40, what's the value of S sub 2? Well, let's write out our terms here. There's the first term, S sub 1, the second term, S sub 2, the third term, S sub 3, the fourth term, S sub 4, and the fifth term, S sub 5. Now, I don't know what the first term is, right? It could be 1, 2, 3, a billion. I have no idea. So let's just call it x. That's a pretty creative name for it, right? We'll call the first term x. Well, how do we find the second term? According to our algorithm up here, what we need to do to find the next term is multiply the previous term by 2. So this is 2x, right? It's the previous term times 2. Well, now let's find the third term. To find the third term, we need to multiply the previous term by 2. That's 4x. Oh, now you're getting the hang of it, I bet, right? Yeah. Uh, S sub 4, the fourth term is going to be that times 2, 8x. And the fifth term is going to be that times 2, so 16x. All right, so the fifth term is 16x. The first term is x, or I'll say 1x. Well, I know that the fifth minus the first, so 16x minus 1x, is equal to 40. Or 15x is equal to 40. And if I divide both sides by 15, I find that x equals 40 over 15. Or if I simplify that down, 8 over 3. But I'm not quite done. Because what am I looking for? I'm looking for the second term in the series. As if it wasn't enough to go all that way. we got to do one more step. So I just need to multiply this one by 2, right? The first term is 8 thirds. So the second one is going to be 16 over 3. That's 8 thirds multiplied by 2. For more GRE tips and tricks or to sign up for my online course, follow the link on my profile.